Today we're going to demonstrate how to wire a start-stop two-wire control with P1 in common as well as a speed potentiometer using our VR, our V1, and our CM. We have now wired our unit and ready to do the basic programming to set it up to see our speed pot and our start stop to wire control. We will initialize power on the on off switch on the drive. It will come up 0, 0.00. Now we will begin our programming and to do so we must hit the up arrow till we see ACC to set our acceleration time. We will enter into our ACC factory default at 20 seconds on this VFD. We're going to change that to 5 seconds. So we'll use our arrow keys to change the 2 to a 0, arrow back over and changing the 0 to 5. Remember on this VFD we must hit enter twice to store the parameter or the setting that we want. We're going to use the up arrow again to hit the DEC for deceleration, enter to enter in the parameter. This unit is factory default at 30 seconds. We're going to set it at a four second deceleration time. Again, using our keypad to make these changes. Entering the enter key twice to store the parameters. We're going to go up arrow again to we see the DRV. We hit enter into the DRV and it is set at one. We're going to leave it factory set at one. Scroll up again and we're going to see FRQ and FRQ we're going to hit enter there and we're looking for our frequency setting. Factory default is zero for keypad. We need to change that to a two to be looking from the terminal strip. Hitting enter twice to store those parameters. Now we must go set our motor information into the VFD. We will do this by simply pushing the right arrow till we get to our BA parameters. We got BA, please look at your instruction manual. We're going to go to BA11. And this is gonna bring us up to our motor poles. We'll hit enter. Factory default is four pole 1800 RPM. We could scroll down to two pole 3600 RPM, or we can scroll up to six pole 1200 RPM and so on. Our motor today is a four pole motor. We will move to four and hit enter to store that value. We're going to go to BA13. Hit enter. BA13 is the full load amps of our motor. Factory default at 3.4. Our motor today is 1.7. So we're gonna change the 3.4 using our arrow keys over to 1.7. There again hitting enter twice to store it. We must hit the escape key now to get back to our home screen. And you can see that we have 46, 47. That's our speed pot reading. We can move our speed pot around and you can see it changing our Hertz on our speed pot there. So let's leave the value at around 48 Hertz. Now we're gonna hit our start stop button and we're gonna select it on. And now you'll see our VFD is going to climb to the acceleration of where our speed pot was left at, which is 48 hertz. You can see as we move the speed pot around, we can change the hertz setting. You know, there's 20 hertz, 30 hertz, and so on as you move and your speed pot up and down. There again, all the way up to 60 hertz is our defined frequency setting. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit our website at worldwideelectric.net or for tech support, please call our tech support line at 844-WWE-SERV. Thanks and have a great day.